Hello boys and girls, my name is Sid Alpha and we're coming together today to take a look at Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan. Now it has been an exceptionally long period of time since I've played a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. It's actually, I believe, since the early 90s since I've even touched one. And back then it was all about the arcade games and the Nintendo version of the games where the Heroes in a Half Shell took center stage and uh, took me for a lot of my money at a very young age. So this Mutants in Manhattan is very much done in a beat-em-up style game, which those games back then were exceptionally famous for. However, this genre and this style of video game, how well does it hold up to current standards? Let's find out. First, though, let's take a quick look at the options menu. Okay, so here we are in the options menu, and let's see, we have controller, vibration on or off, controller uh, types, type A, type B, type C, type D, which of course this features Xbox One controls because of course Windows is a PC, uh, is a Microsoft platform, keyboard types, right-handed or left-handed, uh, this game, of course, does support a controller, obviously, as well as keyboard and mouse. However, the game warns you that optimal play will be for controller, and that is because this is a console port, and uh, this game very much has been optimized for a controller with very little thought given to the actual keyboard and mouse controls. So we have the camera settings, invert Y and X, camera sensitivity, display settings, we have brightness, subtitles, resolution, which it does support uh, 4K resolution with that, screen mode, full screen, blah, 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 V-Sync, on or off. Now this is odd because this video game runs at 30 FPS. I don't know why they bothered to include V-Sync because it really does nothing at all. Graphics quality, high, medium, lower, custom. Anti-aliasing, no idea what kind, but it's two or four only. Texture filters. Blur on or off, shadow quality. That's it. And then we have the sound, which is the music volume, sound effects, voice, chat, and mute when, act when inactive. And that's it. An exceptionally, an exceptionally not exceptional options menu. And this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan. This is a beat em up action adventure featuring the newly reimagined Heroes in a Half Shell, following ru along roughly with the ideas surrounding the current movie. You battle through a series of missions, meeting several of the antagonists from the movie, such as Bebop, Rocksteady, and Krang, and it is basically everything that you would expect a Ninja Turtles game to be. No surprises, no innovation, and more than a bit of blandness. The gameplay is very similar to what you would see in an everyday beat-em-up game, making it feel somewhat reminiscent of Devil May Cry except without any genuinely interesting storyline. The game consists of your choice of the four turtles and their special weapons, selections that go with it, coupled with some special abilities that can be leveled up as you go along. The game is mission based and each mission you can expect to last between 15 to 30 minutes of gameplay on average. More if you get lost which can happen in some areas because the game is very poor sometimes at directing you where you need to be. Now, the graphics are an interesting hand drawn art style that I actually found interesting for a little while and just different enough to have a somewhat unique feel to it. However, it is still an exceptionally basic graphic style and not very, not very inspiring at all. It almost feels like they were attempting to look artsy so they wouldn't have to invest a lot of time into the graphics of the game, which is a shame. It's always a letdown when you see movie licensed games done in a lackluster fashion. Now the game also unfortunately only runs at 30 FPS on PC natively, which, no, I'm sorry, no, 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 I'm sorry, no, it's 2016. 60 FPS has been a standard for PC for literally years. Shame on you, Platinum Games and Activision. You should damn well know better than that. This is inexcusable from a large publisher, and yes, I know this isn't a full $60 title, but that doesn't matter. If I can go out and buy a $20 indie game with better graphics and a smoother frame rate than a large publisher's game for twice the price, then you done fucked up, Activision, and I'm not afraid to say it, you done fucked up. 
Now the game is fairly stable though, but definitely not without its graphical glitches. The game's overall lack of polish is fairly evident in about every mission. Featuring graphical stutters, pop-in, random frame rate drops, and more, this game shows off its mediocrity and poor port at almost every level. The game does, however, have a certain amount of replayability as you go through the cast of characters and level them up, but the lack of originality in the game will quickly rear its ugly head, making the game feel tedious and exceptionally generic. Now, the story is also very generic. It's very much in keeping with a Turtles video game, but with how bland the gameplay and graphics are, the game really needs something to prop it up, and unfortunately, the storyline just doesn't do enough to prop up the other failures of the game, and only serves to underscore its bland, generic, and ultimately boring qualities as a whole. So, to sum up, guys, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan is very much a movie licensed video game and as such it, ha it is a poor port from console to PC whereas for some reason it's 60 FPS on the consoles is what I heard and it is 30 FPS on the PC which is an odd way to have things backwards usually it's the reverse um, in addition to that everything about this game is just bland and generic and cookie cutter uh, it is very much in keeping with the old style methods of how a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game is. However, this is 2016, and you know this is a new reimagining of the Turtles, and I would expect a little bit more. The nostalgia of the video game is not enough to outweigh the bland, generic nature of the game as a whole. And as such, the game is meh. That's all I can say. If I were to, I this isn't a full AAA title. It's not a sixty dollar release, so I do have to give it some concessions. However, if I were to give this a full AAA rating, this would be a four out of ten, below average, and easily worth passing up until the game has been discounted or is on sale. And even then, the gameplay and storyline is bland enough that I can see the only people being interested in this game and having fun with this game would most likely be children. Uh, this would be an except excellent game for them. However, for an adult gamer such as myself, I'd have to say give this one a pass, guys. So once again, this has been Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan. I am Sid Alpha. Thanks once again for watching, boys and girls. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, do all the things, and I will see you next time. Hi there, boys and girls. Thanks for checking my video out. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button and maybe even that subscribe button. Trust me, it works really good. Don't forget to share with your friends. And if you're interested in following me on Twitter and Facebook, the links for that are in the description down below. I also have a Patreon if you're interested in helping to support the growth of my channel. And the link for that is down below as well. And once again, thanks for watching and supporting my channel, guys. I really appreciate it.